Thanks to a small but important change in DaVinci Resolve 18, both free and studio versions, you can now upload your videos directly to YouTube from DaVinci Resolve while still using your own custom settings. In fact, this video you're watching right now was uploaded directly from DaVinci Resolve to YouTube and it even did those little YouTube chapters for me. Now this functionality did kind of exist in the old version, but you had to use one of the YouTube presets, so you didn't have control over the custom settings like bitrate, but now you do. So let me show you how it all works and how to get set up. The very first thing you need to do in DaVinci Resolve, click on DaVinci Resolve top left hand corner, then go to preferences. When this window appears, make sure you're on the system tab at the top and then from the menu on the left hand side, go down to internet accounts. The top one here says YouTube, click sign in. Your web browser will open, then you just need to sign into YouTube in the same way that you usually would. Once it's all done, it will say that it's complete. You can close your browser and go back to DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm going to jump over to the deliver page. From the render settings menu, top left hand corner over here, go to the very left and you've got this, custom export. Give it a click and then you've got all of your usual custom settings within here. First things first, give it a name. I'm going to call this one transition secrets and then set all of your settings as you usually would. For anyone interested, I do all mine in MP4, H.265 with the NVIDIA encoder. My resolution is Ultra HD, 3840 by 2160. My frame rate is 50 and I set my quality to be best. Once you're done, scroll right to the bottom of this list and you now have a YouTube settings option. If we expand that, we've got our options within here. We've got upload directly to YouTube, which you can just tick or untick. We've got title and description. If you leave title blank, it will just use the file name, which we set earlier. We've got chapters, which I'll cover in a moment. Visibility is always set to default, but you can change it to public or unlisted if you want to. And then you've got the category. You can then just add to the render queue. That will put it in the render queue here. And then if we hit render all, the video will be rendered in exactly the same way as usual. And then once it's done rendering, it will then start uploading it directly to YouTube. As you can see, it says uploading. Now, if we want to monitor that upload, if we just click on workspace at the top, come on down to background activity, this tiny little window will appear here and we can actually view the uploads. It says transition secrets, MP4, and it's telling us how much it's been uploaded. Now, while that video is being uploaded, you can continue working in DaVinci Resolve, either on that same project, a different one, or even start a new one and get cracking on something else. Once that's completed, it will say upload complete. And we can actually go directly to that video on YouTube by right clicking the job within the render queue and then going to reveal in browser and that will open the URL. It's been uploaded, it's not yet been processed, but there it is, ready to go. Super quick and super easy it means that you can generate the file and get it uploaded to YouTube with all of your custom settings by just hitting the button once. Now, if you want those YouTube chapters, all you need to do is to add markers on your timeline before you actually generate the file and upload it to YouTube. It's dead quick and easy to do, so let me show you that. So I'm gonna jump back over to the edit page. Now, all we need to do is to add markers on our timelines where we want the YouTube chapters to be. So I'm going to grab my playhead here and put it at the first point where I want a YouTube chapter to be. So I'm going to go with right here. Make sure you don't have anything selected on the timeline, so nothing's highlighted in red, and then simply hit the M key on your keyboard to add a YouTube chapter here like so. Double click and this window will appear and then give it a name. This is the name of the chapters as they will appear on YouTube. Then simply hit done. Then just go through your timeline, adding as many markers as you want, giving them names to set those YouTube chapters. Two quick tips here. Make sure that you space your markers at least 10 seconds apart. YouTube chapters need to be at least 10 seconds long, so you just need to make sure that you space those markers out accordingly. Tip number two, make sure you keep all of the markers the same color. You need to use the same color marker for all of the markers on the timeline to be used as your YouTube chapters. Once you're done and you've set all of your markers, hop into the deliver page, Scroll down, same thing, we've got our markers. You choose the color of the marker that you used. I just left them as blue as default, so that's ready to go. I can then just add this to the render queue. Hit render, your video will be exported and uploaded to YouTube with those YouTube chapters. Now, another great tip, you can actually save all of those export settings as an export preset. So next time you come to generate a video for YouTube, you don't need to enter it all again. You just click one button, hit render and job done. So let me show you how to do that. So I've got my custom export here with all of my custom settings and my YouTube parameters at the bottom. All you then need to do, right at the top here, you've got three little dots, give that a click. And then you've got the option to save as new preset. Give that a click. Then you give it a name. I'm gonna call this 
Ultra HD 50 with YouTube, so I'm just gonna call it YT, and then click on OK. Then on this little menu bar at the top here, you now have your new option on the far left. So I've got my UHD 50 YT. If I give that a click, it will pull through all of those settings. So anytime I open up a new project, I can select that one. All my options are correct. I can add to the render queue and job done. Super quick, super easy. How cool is that?